Hey everybody, this is my niece Christine from Kansas up for Thanksgiving and she is loading corn in 2020. Now, what you all don't know is that she used to load corn in her old bedside. So she is a professional. We'll be back when we get to the back hopper. Oh, that's kind of funny. We'll be back when we're at the back hopper. Now we're on the back hopper. Christine is loading it. Wearing the Iowa State hat, and she's a Kansas State person. We'll keep that quiet. That's okay, they do live there. Shut her down. She's an old professional from the old Ben site. She's liking this new setup. What do you think, Christine? Thumbs up, thumbs down. I think it's a thumbs up. All right, we got two piles in the front, two piles in the back, 82 on the gauge. Let's hit the road, Uncle Dwayne. What's up, everyone? Mustard out here today. Shop project going on today after Thanksgiving. Just kind of taking it easy today and I cut off a chunk and make an extension on our downspout on our overhead bin down in area 21. So if you've been watching some of our previous videos, our overhead bin loadout, it kind of loads out weird. It kind of comes out of angle because of the spout that's on there to get everything centered up. My theory is I'm gonna take this rubber mat and kind of make a little extension to kind of help the grain funnel down a little better and come down nice and straight so you don't have to pull in offset. Don't know if it's gonna work exactly like you think, but I'm gonna get it cut up, mocked up, see if we can clamp it on there and see how it works. Dejan Mustard and our cousin's husband, Ben, down from Kansas, is up visiting for Thanksgiving. So he's helping us out today. Currently, we are reconfiguring our downspout. Well, we got the ripper pulled in the shop here. We spent all morning knocking all the dirt off. So that was just what we knocked off my hand and all the crevices and corners and stuck to the shanks and everything. Get it rinsed off as best as we can. So we can get it put away. We got Megan watching. Look at that. I think we need a bigger shop, yeah? Okay, finally got her boot on there. Dad's in the truck. Gonna get lined up here and see how it works. Not sure what's gonna happen, but we'll find out. Here we go. Gonna unreveal the spout. Drum roll, please. Isn't that a sight to see? A sea of green equipment. Oh. oh, so much to clean. Where do we begin? 8400, 9870, 9420, 9620 racks, 790, 4450, 7800. It just never ends. Hey, morning, boys. Today feels really weird. Rained like five one hundredths overnight, so that's like nothing, but it's enough to get the ground wet. It feels like an early spring day. Temperature's perfect. It's insanely calm out. The birds are chirping. This is really weird. But today, I'm gonna get this VT blown off so we can get it washed. Megan is coming here in a little bit. She's gonna keep washing on the ripper. Got a pretty good start yesterday that I did a little bit too. That is like mm, almost done. I mean, it just needs a a little bit more and maybe by slight chance we could get these put away today that would be really nice oh well good morning mustard dude why are you talking to yourself 
Stop making fun of me. Right. I'm always in around, talking to myself. But once you put the video together, it's like not a problem. It looks awesome. It feels weird at first, but you gotta roll with it. These implements aren't gonna clean themselves. So let's get into it. Hey, V8 should sponsor us. Next day, after making that downspout for the overhead bin loadout, it worked. It definitely helped, but it's still not doing exactly what, what we want it to do. It's still kind of scattering out weird and coming out, out at a weird angle when you open that thing all the way. It's something solid that won't give like a piece of rubber will be a little better. We have all this leftover downspouts to hit the bends. And a half to 12 inch diameter, which is exactly what I'm looking for. Cut that down make a short little extension. The only other thing is I gotta figure out how to make a transition from the round tube to the square opening on the loadout. There we go. Oh. That's your six foot leverage bar. Uh oh, we're loose over there. It's good. Now, putting a cotter key or a bolt in there. Gloves work as good knee pads. Hey, Coon Kraus VT, you're going nowhere. Cause I got you for 30 days. 30 days of field work in the springtime. Holy moly, that looks so clean. Wow. You get a little bit closer and you get inside, you will see it's not as clean as it looks. But it's 10 times better than what it was. And that, that is our goal. Hey, what are you doing here? Stood on top of the VT and washed everything on the top off. Megan's doing around the outsides. Bucky's gonna be here shortly, and we're gonna go put the ripper away. Yay! Off we go! Gonna be Bucky over at the shed and put it away. I'm gonna weld this ring to this tube. This square piece will sit on top of this ring. I'll weld it in there, taking some flat steel to kind of taper it down so it goes to that ring. Now, before everyone starts judging me, I'm not an expert welder by any means. I know enough to be dangerous. As long as it holds together, that's all that matters. You're not really gonna see these welds anyway because they're all gonna be, most of them are gonna be on the inside. 20, planter, five, ripper, field cultivator, little 12 row, 9430 is going to be going in for some work. Behind the field cultivator, we're going to put two anhydrous bars. And behind the ripper, we're going to put one of the combines. The VT is going to go right in front of here. And we'll put a combine right in where this 8520 is sitting. So there you 
have it. There's my welds. Some spots are good, like right there. Some not so good, but I think it'll do just fine. Here's what my final layout's gonna look like. We got these pieces in here to kind of taper it down to the tube. We just gotta weld those in. Probably end up putting a tack weld in each of those holes. Grind it smooth so there's no way corn or any dust can leak out from anywhere else. Bolt it back up there and see if it works. So wet down here two years ago, we had to combine this corn when it was frozen. So we decided, you know, it's always dry down here about middle July, late July. We're gonna make some orchard grass and grow them down here. Mowing down this nice matting of weeds, foxtail, water hemp that was sprayed. It's all crusty now, it's been frosted. We've got pretty good green undergrowth growing. So we might come back and hit this with some extra orchard or roam or some fescue and really get this rolling. Be looking forward to next summer getting some good video down here of about 50 bales down in here. This would be really nice. Look over there. The Trussell Railroad Bridge over the Iowa River. It's very cool. One of my favorite farms to be on down here. All the scenery. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Look at that. Iowa River. There she is, loud and proud. Literally, I'm like 50 feet away from it. This is where the water drains out of this field, down in this little low bog. Yeah, pretty neat deal. You did a good job, Megan. This feels wrong. I know. We got the VT washed up. Looking pretty good. And we got the little 15 knife and hydrus bar washed up. Looking pretty decent. All in all, it's been a really good day. The mounting of the new spout, and we will try it here if we get it mounted. Well, I tell you what, the old quad hog gets up in buggies, leaving Bucky. 8400 in the dust, son. New spout is on there, mounted. You're going from a bigger opening down to a much smaller opening. So as that grain flows, it should just keep that area full as it tries to funnel down through this final tube. So I'm pretty confident this time that's gonna work the way we want. Here's the new spout that Devin worked on. And I did this afternoon. He finished it up. Muster's ready to pull the chain. We have Wilson here with us. Wilson, Wilson, here we go. How's it going? Full bore? That is full bore. So it's, it, oh my gosh. You are a genius. That's awesome. Wilson, what do you think? Awesome. What do you think, Wilson? <laughs> It's a lot slower loading than it was before, but it's so much more controlled and it's not splattering off, off the straps and down on the floor and making a mess. So I'll take this over how it was before any day of the week. Nice, perfect stream. It's exactly what we wanted.